discriminant analysis in this video we will be discussing about uh, performing discriminant analysis discriminant analysis undertakes the same task as multiple linear regression the major difference is in discriminant analysis the dependent variable will be categorical and independent variables can be scale data or ordinal datas i am taking example in which i have confident of the employee as dependent variable and age experience expert and satisfaction as independent variables we have asked the employee are you confident to do the given job the respondent answered as one or two one says not confident to do the given job two confident to do the given job right we have recorded the age of the employee experience of the employee in years and expertise of the employee and satisfaction as ordinal expert it is asked i am expert in my job the respondent can give the answer in likert scale from 1 to 5 1 is strongly disagree 5 is strongly agree satisfaction i am satisfied with my job strongly disagree to strongly agree now basing on these four variables age experience expert in job and satisfaction we want to see as a confident can discriminate these four variables <clears throat> i am starting the analysis to do the analysis we go for the menu and i'll analyze in this classify in classify we go for discriminant right as i already said discriminant analysis the categorical variable will be dependent so i am taking confident as a grouping variable i am defining the range one minimum maximum two and i taking the other four variables as independent variables now i am going to do small settings in statistics menu and classify first i do for statistics in statistics check button means uni variate anova box plot select this check buttons and in classify leave one out classification and after doing this two setting statistics and classify say okay now this is the output screen total number of respondents are 384 i don't have any missing values in this and when i come for discriminant i want to see the difference between not confident to confident in terms of four parameters four variables age experience expert and satisfaction i want to see how far they are variating my null hypothesis will be always saying that there is no variation between not confident group to confident group let me check in terms of age the mean is 26 in this case the mean is 31 
so they are different when you come for experience the mean in not confident is 2.94 whereas here it is 7.17 means are different when you come for expert it is 4.05 but here it is 4.40 means when an employee is saying i am expert in doing a job this is not much discriminating this variable is not discriminating satisfaction not confident 3.82 and here it come 4.37 so out of four variables when you see the means age is discriminating <coughs> experience is discriminating expert is not much discriminating satisfaction is discriminating let me see box plot test you can see this test results here in box plot test the null hypothesis says equal population covariance matrices <coughs> it mean to say there is no difference between confident and not confident group we need to check significant value if this value is less than 0.05 we reject the null hypothesis saying that there is a difference between not confident to confident group <coughs> okay so here we are rejecting the null hypothesis of equal population covariance matrices let me go for canonical discriminant functions when you are saying canonical discriminant function we need to check this parameter canonical correlation the canonical correlation is 0.825 when we take square of this value it shows the variance between the groups okay canonical correlation is 0.824 let me do the square of 0.824 it is 0.67 that is around 67% variance is been shown between not confident to confident group it's good it is more than 50% variance we are able to see <coughs> so when we see canonical correlation which is 0.824 take the square of that that shows the percentage here in this case it is 0.67 so it is 67.89% of variance is been shown between not confident to confident group when you come for wilks lambda we can see the significance is 0.00 means it is significant if it is less than 0.05 we take it is significant we need to see wilks lambda value is 0.321 wilks lambda will range between 0 to 1 if this wilks lambda value is close to 0 indicates the group means are different if the value is close to 1 there is no different <coughs> now we can conclude it is there is a difference between the group means of not not confident group to confident group so i have shown you three types of tests one is between the groups i clearly shown second one is box plot m test where you need to see the significance value third one is wilks lambda so with this three tests we come to a conclusion that discriminant analysis is discriminating between not confident to confident group there is a variance of 67% okay let me see like a factorial anova uh, multiple regression let me see these values 
age is 0 0.566 experience is 0 0.565 and expertise in job is 0 0.4 this is less impacting factor whereas age experience is better impacting the discrimination followed by satisfaction but expertise is not much impacting if you want to say the importance of variables first importance is through age it is 0 0.566 followed by experience 0 0.565 third one is satisfaction expertise is very less <coughs> It is 0 0.046. This is what we can come to a conclusion here. If discriminant analysis is discriminating, then age, experience, satisfaction are three variables which are playing major role and the expert is not playing much important role. Now let me say a very important thing. This is called classification results and it is famously called as confusion table in confusion table we need to see this point which is 97.1 percent this is called hit ratio hit ratio explains how much discrimination is happening for example you can see here not confident people are predicted as not confident is 233 means if you see percentage wise original not confident is predicted as not confident is 97.5 percent very high percent showing people originally are who are confident are predicted as confident is 96.6 percentage Totally, the discriminant analysis says there is a hit ratio of 97.1%. It means to conclude the discriminant analysis is being discriminating the total response into not confident and confident employees basing on four important parameters or variables age, experience, expert and job satisfaction at a variance of 67 percent and the hit ratio is 97.1 percent